Off camber routes are one of the trickiest obstacles you're going to find on a mountain bike. Not only is the ground falling away from you, but these routes have got zero grip. <laughs> so there's a few skills that are going to help you out and a certain mental approach. It's easy. So first things first, how do you actually deal with off cambers? Well, the best thing to do is almost treat it like a corner. So the ground's falling away from me this way. and I'm trying to get my weight as low into the outside of the bike as I can to try and find that extra grip. So I'm keeping my weight nicely over the tires and weighting my outside foot. So I'm trying to get that bike gripping on the floor. The benefit of having your outside pedal low is it leaves your inside pedal high. Therefore, it's nice and easy to hang a leg and do a quick dab if you need to. Commitment and entry speed are really important to off-camera routy sections. Uh, commitment is almost a mental approach that so you've got to go in there with a bit of confidence so that you're not just sort of guessing if it's going to work or not. Hopefully you've got a bit of experience with off-camera routes and try and carry that confidence into that section. Your entry speed is going to be really important because on an off-camera section, you're going to find it hard to pedal because your pedal, your inside pedal, is going to get very close to the floor if not touched. So, the speed you go in, you might carry it for a long time. Also, you don't want to be braking really hard as you go across that camber because you risk sliding out. <laughs> and then to do that. So there's no getting away from roots on off cambers are really, really difficult, especially in conditions like today. Here we have a steep right-hand corner, off camber and route as well. Line choice is critical here. There's only one line that I can see that will give you a relative chance of getting over these roots here right by this tree. And that is right there. If you miss that hookup, you're going down there. So if you can, you can try and alter your lines, hit these roots as square on as possible. That's going to give you some chance of gripping on them. But that's not going to work on these roots here that are going diagonally and off camber down there. You're just not going to find any grip. So how do you ride them when it's slippery and wet like a day today? Look for a clean spot in the trail, use a bunny hop technique, bring the bike up into you, landing in this clean area, and then that enables you to continue down the trail. So a good bunny hop technique is really important. Occasionally you just want to hop the whole thing. But actually, the more useful version is just really, really small, minute versions of that bunny hop. You're just trying to unweight the wheels to skip over those roots. So there you go, there's a few tips to try and master the slippiest of all devils, the off-camera route. And one final thing to bear in mind is bike setup when trying to ride this sort of terrain. Tire choice is critical. Look for a tire with a really aggressive side knob to dig into the camber. Bear in mind your pressures, you might want to run them a little bit lower and also perhaps knock a little bit of compression off your suspension. Softer will give you more grip. Uh, and we've talked about the bunny hop technique. It's really important to get a good bunny hop so you can unweight these roots. So a good video to check out is how to bunny hop. You can click up there for that one. And recently we did a video on how to ride slippery rocks, which was a lot of fun and you should click down here. Well, imagine riding a slippy, rocky, off camber routey trail mark. Whew. I'm not sure there's a technique, is there? Well, I don't know. One step at a time, Neil. Let them learn the one before they try the other. You want to learn how to ride off camera turns? Yeah, it's not an easy one. <laughs> Click on me to subscribe to the channel. <laughs>